For a few days, as you remember, we have been talking about the DNA repair mechanisms, and we know that DNA is a perfect mechanism, it's a perfect system. And as we have talked about, at every stage, there are different repairing mechanisms. There would be no need for all these mechanisms, actually. God would have created this with perfection. However, God creates everything with errors and mistakes in this world. But this is definitely not an advantage for the evolutionists, because this is hardship for them. This is another difficulty for them, because they cannot ever explain how the DNA originates. And they cannot also explain how the DNA molecule needs to be present together with all the other repairing mechanisms at the same time. Because otherwise, if that repairing did not exist, then that would definitely result in the collapse of the entire mechanism and the DNA molecule would have never existed without repairing systems. I had also stated that sometimes ultraviolet light would have impairment on the DNA molecule and that could result in changes of information on the DNA molecule. I would like to talk about the nucleotides here, adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine. These are only the four, four nucleotides and adenine gets pairs, paired with and cytosine gets paired with guanine. But what happens when there is ultraviolet light or such impairment? These pairs change, change their locations, and that results in wrong nucleotides to be paired with, with the rest of the other ones. And in that happening, actually, when that kind of a dislocation occurs or change of location of the nucleotides occur on the DNA molecule, then an enzyme get, comes into play and it has a certain antenna. And that antenna absorbs sunlight. And this way, it prevents sunlight to come upon the nucleotides. It takes one electron inside itself and just sends that electron to the place where this repairing needs, needs to take place. And when that electron is sent there, then that, that wrong pairing pair, actually. It just detaches, and this way, that mistaken pair is just separated from one another, and then that is dissolved. Those nucleotides are just taken away from that location from the DNA molecule, and then what happens is other enzymes come and bring the nucleotides, the right ones, and places the right pair in the DNA code. And that is an amazing detail, really. I just gave a brief uh, statement of this, and scientists cannot really explain how this occurs. This is only one of the repairing mechanisms. And our Almighty Lord has created this amazing mechanism. And this way, this enzyme is aware where that mistaken information is placed, how it can find it, and how it can detach it, and where it can find the right pairs in order to replace the wrong ones. And no enzyme could ever do this. And no person, no human being also could ever be able to carry out such a repairing on the DNA molecule. It is only by the power, by the knowledge of our Lord that this correction is made on the DNA molecule, and the DNA molecule could only be created with the entire repairing mechanisms. There is no need for a gradual, gradual development.